All right, so next Seke Wake to take to the Dokyo today on day seven is the man in red getting the water of power from Wakamoto Haru. That's Daisho, four and two, same record going in as Wakamoto Haru. So he wants a win here to stay equal to his Seke Wake colleague. And his opponent also has a 4-2 record, and that's fan favorite Ura. There he is on the left in the pink. And, uh, yeah, uh, Ura is fighting well uh, at uh, Maigashira 4. So he uh, will do his best here to get a win, and uh, he's always entertaining to watch, of course. But for Daesho, they're going to show it on the screen here in a second, but I'll... Pull it up on my phone as well. His road to 33. Uh, he has a 22 in his previous two tournaments. A 12-win record and a 10-win record. So he's got to get 11 this tournament to get to 33. One less than Wakamoto Haru. And, of course, uh, so a fifth win here today. Um, he can afford to lose four. But... Uh, He's got to have good quality wins as well. So uh, he wouldn't want to like lose to, say, Hoshoru and, and Kirishima in the last two days in a row. That would maybe hurt his chances. But uh, sometimes it's just about the numbers. Daisho, of course, is a Japanese native. He was born in Saitama. And his real name is Hayato Takanishi. And he fights out of Oitkazabea, which is a very powerful stable. Um, also in his stable is Tobizaru, Surugisho, Daishoho, and Endo. And that's just the five of them that are in the top division. So he won't fight Tobizaru this tournament, for example, because they're stable mates. Then they have a Jurio man in their stable, Dayamami, who's been up in the top division before. There is his road to uh, 33. He's got to get seven more. Then they got a whole bunch of guys in Makushita, etc. So very powerful stable. Uh and a lot of good sparring partners, but he is the top dog at the moment at Sekewake and trying to make his way up to Ozeki. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment. Do you, how many of the three that are trying to get to Ozeki do you think will make it this tournament? Um, do you think we'll get just one of them will succeed, or do you think we'll get two? I can't, I can't see all three making it. you got to think one guy... Something's going to happen, right? The pressure or just, you know, having a bad day or something, and he's not going to get the number he needs. But uh, who, that, who, who, who that is going to be is hard to say right now. Hoshoru is obviously in the best position going into today. He hasn't fought yet with only one loss. So, uh, But uh, Daesho, if he were to lose here, that would certainly uh, be a blow because he doesn't want to lose to these uh, lower-ranked guys like Ura all the way down at Maigashira 4 uh, when he still has Sekewake to fight in the future, etc. Okay, and then, uh, yep, two more matches to go after this one. Here we go. いい相撲でしたね。大栄翔はね。簡単にできないんですけどね。うん。ここからのですね、この回転、これ足とこれ基本ですよ、突き押し。こうやって相手に圧力をかけながらこうやって足を出していくんですね。で、必ずこう裏がね、こっち側にこう避けてますよね。避けているんですが、ついていってますよね、相
He's talking about how he's using his elbows as well as his thrusts when he goes in. And uh, I see what he's saying there. And you know, Ura gets into this pattern where he's just retreating, retreating. He's got good footwork. He's making his way around the edge of the ring. But, you know, you get a bit off balance like he did and boom. And we've already talked about how slippery the Dohyo is in this tournament. And he ends up down on the clay. So a good win for Daisho, now 5-2. and two. And tomorrow he has Asanoyama. Ooh, they're giving Asanoyama Seke Wake on back-to-back -back days, probably all three in a row. And Hoshoryu for Ura tomorrow. So uh, both have tough opponents coming up tomorrow. Okay, come on back.